open uh, day tour. Um, I am Jack, I'm a third year drama student here at Royal Holloway. We'll just give it a couple minutes just to make sure we have uh, plenty of people in uh, ready to go on the tour. Uh, while we just wait a bit, I'll just you know tell you about where we are right now. So over here is the entrance of campus. There's the uh, road coming in there. To the right here um, is the chapel just inside and to the left inside there is the picture gallery. And as we look around here, we are in our beautiful North Quad, uh, right in the middle of our famous Founders Building. And here is the statue of Queen Victoria. A little history while we wait. Um, Queen Victoria opened the um, uni back when it was a uh, women's college uh, in the 19th century, uh, founded by Thomas and Jane Holloway. And they, we have statues of them in our South Quad just over there. Um, but yes, uh, looks like we have a good amount of people now so we will head over uh, out of the founders uh, north quad now and on to uh, more of the tour where you can see the square the library and the rest of campus so if you follow me this way um and i'll tell you a little bit more about the uni and about founders about where we are <clears throat> as we go and um so the quad um here is used for a lot of events um throughout um, the year, so our Freshers Ball at the beginning of Freshers Week um, is used here, so we get a lot of big artists in, um, which is a big highlight for uh, loads of the students, and uh, we use it for the Summer Ball as well at the end of the year. So I've just taken us inside Founders now. Founders is also used as accommodation as well. We um, can't take you um, inside uh, the flats today as they are not open, we have students occupying them, but um, there's a lot of information about accommodation online. Founders has the dining hall, it is a catered accommodation. Um, while I'm at the top of the stairs here, I'll just switch the camera around. And here we have our beautiful Founders Square and the Emily Ward and Davison building, which is our library. Just further down. But yes, here is our Founders Square. So Founders Square is um, used for a lot. It's a great place to just kind of eat, hang out with your friends. We also have a lovely Christmas tree put up here at Christmas time and an ice cream that goes around it with a Christmas market that stretches all the way down uh, around the square, um, which is another massive highlight throughout the year, um, which is always really, really fun. So as I said earlier, this building ahead of me um, is the Emily Warden Davison building. Um, and this is our library. So uh, it's obviously, as you can see, uh, quite a lot of students at the moment. We're a bit busy right now. Um, a lot of deadlines coming up for students. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna head inside now. I do apologize if there are any sound issues. It is a bit of a windy day, so do forgive us um, for that, please. But yes, yeah, so I'll just um, walk on and into the library. So here we are in the Emily Wilden Davison building and this is our library. So um, as you can see here, we have um, a cafe um, which is open to all students throughout the weeks and even in holiday time as well it's open and that's just a great kind of social aspect to the study space that we have have here and as you can see above me we have uh, two floors above us here um, and the Student Services Centre is also located here um, a great place for when students need help with any kind of inquiries student finance issues anything like that we have silent study spaces up there and group study spaces uh, over this way as well with um, you know the option for students to be able to um, book out uh, study rooms and if they're working on group projects and anything like that they're able to sort of work as groups privately there as well. Um, also located in the library, um, we'll just walk through it now, is the event space. So any events run by our Hall Life team um, usually take place in here or just any events by any kind of departments. We have uh, currently a college um, archives exhibition that was done last summer open here as well um, which has been really cool to see a sort of history project done by some of our students here and we also have the students union shop 
which is really useful, especially for students living on campus to, um, you know, they don't have to go to the high street whenever they need to do some kind of food shop. Um, and, um, you know, they can just pop up here whenever they need to. So that's another really useful aspect of um, the uni here. You can also buy Hot Roll Holloway merchandising um, while we're there as well. So we'll exit round out the library now, and I'll just take you round to see our Windsor building briefly and just tell you a bit about that and just tell you a bit more about kind of buildings we see along the way. So opposite me right now is the computer center. That's where a lot of the media art students work and do a lot of their work. And just ahead of me there is the Moore building, which you'll see in a little bit um, along the way. But here is the Windsor building. So um, inside Windsor is this little cafe on the square, um, which is open for events. Um, and for, yeah, things like graduation. We open it up for our guests there. Also inside the Windsor building is this beautiful auditorium used for many kind of performance spaces, like music recitals um, often take place inside the Windsor building as well. Um, so that's another really kind of nice aspect of the Windsor building, as well as obviously being a lecture space and seminar room space as well. And you can see kind of more benches out here. Um, uh, and again, just a, another sort of area where students can um, have lunch with their friends. And yes, it's a bit light now, but you can sort of see inside. Um, and yeah, just have a look. We have some open seminar rooms there as well. And yeah. So ahead of me here, you can see founders sort of from this side. Again, it's very be beautiful, very majestic, especially in this beautiful sunny weather that we have today. Yes. And as you can see as well, um, a lot of uh, green space um, throughout the uni. Um, you'll see some of that towards the end of the tour, some of our sort of green and wooded space. But yes, we're gonna go back down the main road of campus now. And as I pointed out earlier, this sort of area here is for all our media art students um, and film students. So they do a lot of work here. They do a lot of work in that cabin, cabin over there. You can kind of see the back sort of room of the Windsor building as well. And yeah, so uh, we're now approaching the sort of main road of campus. So from the entrance, this road just takes you kind of all the way down past most of our departments. Um, I'm walking past now the Moore building. Um, I, because of time, we are a bit limited, so I can't take you through um, into every single one of our buildings. But um, Moore Building is the School of Business and Management. Um, so that's where all the business and economic classes basically take place. And opposite me here as well is the McRae Building. Now, um, a great thing about Royal Holloway is that not every department requires its own building. You'll um, find that if you do come here that uh, a lot of departments share around their sort of lecture theatres and um, you know aren't confined to one building so you'll be able to explore most of campus you know throughout your um, Royal Holloway sort of career um, which is a really great aspect um, of the university and we have some more um, lecture theatres and departments further down this way as well. Uh, you'll see coming up now uh, in the distance um, is the Royal Holloway Students Union um, which I'll show you inside there in a little bit. But first, we have um, this beautiful building coming up uh, to the left of us now. You'll see these big boiler house chimneys. So um, they belong to the boiler house, which is this uh, beautiful complex that we have um, on campus. Um, so the boiler house is a uh, drama space. Uh, it was obviously an old boiler house first, and then it got turned into um, this massive sort of rehearsal space, um, as well as there being a sort of nice um, uh, sort of social area uh, as well, which you'll see in just a second. We also have some music practice rooms in this building here. Um, so it's nice that loads of departments are very kind of close together as well. Um, and the sort of size of the uni really uh, aids to that as well. But here is the boiler house complex. So we have seminar rooms in this building here and a cafe which is uh, open only in term time is here as well. But 
Um, yes, as I said, this building here is a really nice sort of drama and theatre space and this is where a lot of students come to uh, just sort of hang out, um, have lunch between lectures and things like that. There's loads of places to eat on campus, which you'll see as well uh, as we go on. Um, uh, an aspect we really love about the uni is that, yeah, there's loads of places to eat. You just, you don't have to go to just, you know, the founder's dining hall. Um, if you need a meal, there's plenty of other sort of mini cafes and anything like that um, throughout the campus itself. Opposite me here is uh, the physics department with our very own telescope on top of that building, as you can see just there. Another really cool thing uh, that we have here and um, that's used for some really cool discoveries. And as I said, we are now approaching the Royal Holloway Students Union. So every university will have a students union. They're the sort of hub for all student activity. Um, and um, loads of cool stuff happens in the students union. They put on loads of events throughout the year as well. Um, and drinking and non-drinking based. They, like we do puppy therapy here, which is really popular with the students. Just loads of sort of well-being based events, um, which is an aspect we really appreciate of this university and yeah they're they're all the societies and sports teams are run under the students union as well and we have theater space as well at the moment um and yeah i think this might be a good time to answer some questions as well that we might have at this point while we're sort of halfway through um the tour so are there any questions for me right now uh do the sciences have their own building Yes, yeah, so I just pointed out the physics department that's um, over here, um, over there, and um, biology used the Bourne space as well, which is, again, more over uh, that way. So, yes, yeah, science do have their own labs as well, and we'll actually take you um, soon into the uh, electronic engineering um, department as well, which is just down the road, so we'll go there in a bit as well. And what sports are there in the university? Yeah, so we have a wide variety of sports here. Our sports facilities, we have an indoor gym and plenty of um, outdoor sports as well. So we have our own tennis courts, we have rugby pitches, hockey pitches, all weather pitches, uh, netball courts, um, football, indoor and outdoor spaces. So we have plenty of sports. All of this is, uh, information is available on our Students' Union website as well. So you can access um, the full list because I can't name them all off the top of my head because there's so many. Um, but yeah. Uh, student life, um, as you can probably uh, have been able to tell from seeing all the students sort of uh, in the background around me, is um, always, always really buzzing. Um, I personally get involved in loads of societies and things like that. There's never, never a dull moment. Um, it's really important to be able to take a break from your studies and um, really enrich yourself in the co-curricular life of the uni. Um, I found that's where my enjoyment has most sort of uh, stemmed from. Um, it's always lovely, especially with it being a smaller-ish campus. Um, just you're always running into, you know, a friend in a cafe or on your way to a seminar. So that's just another sort of extra um, add a bit of fun and enjoyment for the uni. But um, student life is really um, incredible here. There, as I said, there's plenty going on for the students to get involved in and do. So, yeah. Is there easy transport to London? Yes, yeah, so we have, um, we, so we're based in Egham and we have Egham train station, just a 15 minute walk um, down the road from us at the bottom of Egham Hill. And that from there is a 40 minute train ride into Waterloo. Um, and from Waterloo, obviously you can access all sort of transport for London from there. So we are very easy to get into London. Um, me and my friends often find ourselves, you know, uh, trekking into London uh, at the weekend during the holiday or anything like that. So it's very easy to sort of go in and out of London and always a fun day out as well. Another question, um, how is life, what is life like if you don't live on campus? Yeah, so I have um, a lot of friends actually who are commuting students and I, th I think the thing I'd say is that I never notice that they're commuting students because they're always here, they're always, um, you know, they live ne nearby and they're always able to get involved um, at everything that happens uh, at the uni still. We have two um, on-campus nightclubs, so the Students' Union acts as a nightclub as well and medicine, which you'll see towards the end of the tour, um, is 
uh, used as a nightclub as well. And uh, it's really nice having those sort of um, buildings on campus and that kind of social aspect, having it all happen in one place um, is so useful and so much easier. And you're able to really just hang out with your friends and not, you know, strangers the whole time. Um, so we never notice that the commuting students are commuting students because there's so much to get involved here. Um, and they will have to organize their, you know, time a bit differently to how other students do because um, obviously they have to think about travel and things like that. Um, but on the whole, it's very easy for all kinds of students, no matter where you are, where you come from, to get involved um, here. But uh, yeah, I think we'll um, keep going and head over down this way past the Students' Union. Um, I will say as well, Students' Union has Tommy's Kitchen, which is a sort of kind of indoor fast food diner styled uh, restaurant. And um, yeah, so over for the second part of the tour, you'll see the geography building, the um, uh, and electron electronic engineering building, which we will go inside and have a look at that. That's one of our newest buildings on campus. And you'll get to see some more of our accommodation um, just from the outside. And yeah, so over this way is the drama department. So that's sort of um, following the road and just there's a bridge that just takes you over to the other side of the road. Um, and yes. So coming up to the left of me here um, is the uh, Queen's Building. So the Queen's Building is used for all sorts of earth sciences. So geography, geology, um, and yeah, earth science, health studies, that's all sort of takes place in the Queen's Building. Um, really, a really nice building. Um, I was in there for um, a shift the other day and yeah, they have beautiful seminar rooms, really nice lecture theaters in there as well. And to the right of me here is the uh, psychology um, sort of department. This is where all the psychology, criminology, and social science lectures sort of take place. Um, and as I said earlier, of course, many departments sort of share around the uh, department. So there's not necessarily one place you might be confined to throughout your entire time at Royal Holloway, but um, these are mostly where the um, uh, these sort of departments will do their thing. And this uh, really funky building right in front of me here is the Schilling Building, which is where electronic engineering uh, all takes place. So uh, the Schilling Building, it was sort of opened in 2018. So it's our newest building on campus named after Bertrand Schilling, who was a motor engineerist. And yeah, I'll take you inside now. It's got some really cool things in there. You'll notice as we go inside, we really like to blend, you know, the sort of academic side of uh, studying here at Royal Holloway, as well as the sort of social aspect of studying, because that's a really important aspect of studying here at university, at any university, is the sort of aspect of uh, studying with your friends and doing, you know, these group projects and things like that. So there's plenty of sort of sofa space to sit around, hang out between seminars, between lectures, um, anything like that. And hopefully we can have a peek in to see if um, there are any seminar rooms open. But yeah, this is the Schilling building. We have the lecture auditorium just through there. And you'll see some sofa spaces. And we have a computer lab in here as well for any sort of high tech experiments, anything like that. And seminar rooms in there. And a sort of more modern style lecture theatre with a nice cool sofa seating um, and tables and chairs sort of laid out like that. But this is the Schilling building. Um, we also have this really cool car here that was um, created as part of a project as well. So we just had a, on display sort of, you know, loads of things the students have done throughout um, their sort of module and courses here. Um, but exiting the Schilling building now, we're gonna have a look at some really nice accommodation and I can tell you more about the different accommodation styles that we have um, at Royal Holloway as well. So again, this is just uh, following the main road um, throughout campus uh, onto our main accommodation area you're going to see some self-catered accommodation uh just to the left of me here is reed this is actually catered and they use the hub which you'll see in a sec as their dining hall 
Um, and yeah, we have Williams. So this is one of our self-catered accommodations. Um, and I'll tell you more about the hub in a second. Just coming down the pavement here. You'll see Runnymede, which is that sort of yellow building right down the corner there. And then we have Chook and Butler. So, just a bit more about accommodation. Ooh, sorry about that. A bit more about accommodation. Um, so these are, as I said, self-catering accommodations. So these particular buildings are flats of eight and they're ensuite bathrooms and they are a shared kitchen. And as I said, you're sharing with uh, eight people. We also have Wedderburn and Gow, which is a bit more down the main road of campus. Um, but they're all the same as these ones here. So our accommodation um, ranges, there's a lot of options. And um, as I said, Founders and Reed are the catered accommodations and they have sort of uh, shared bathroom situations um, as well as shared sort of pantry situations as well. So there's a lot of options to sort of run through, which is all available, uh, available on our website as well. Um, but yeah, so this is a sort of main accommodation area. Um, I'll just take you a bit more down. And as I said, we have the hub, which is uh, one of our main dining halls on campus. And also in the hub is the sort of main reception where all the students can collect their post, their mail, any packages will get delivered there. And uh, laundry services are based there as well for the students. Um, so yeah, as you can see here, this is more accommodation all the way, stretches all the way down there. Um, the sports center is also located all the way down that road at the bottom of campus as well, I should point out. And we have Kimiko, a Japanese style kitchen um, restaurant, which is uh, in the hub and uh, Imagine, which is a bubble tea cafe. So yeah, just again, really cool um, aspects of uh, living at uni, being open to all these different um, styles of global cuisine that we have here. Um, as I mentioned, we have Medicine, which is one of our uh, on-campus nightclubs um, that acts sort of um, codependently with the Students' Union as a sort of nightclub services. So that's just located down the slopes there. And then Wedderburn and Gower, our other self-catered accommodations, are down the road there. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to now take you into this sort of wooded area of Royal Holloway. Um, it's a really... Um, nice part of the uni that I really like to show people as well so we'll go this way quickly and that will bring us to the end soon um, but keep coming in with your questions because I'll answer some questions um, at the end of the tour but I'll show you around now where we are so this is just a bit of a shortcut that can take you um, to different bits of the uni so it kind of takes you to the back of the library and sort of to the other side of founders. We do loads of volunteering projects that help sort of preserve the nature um, around uni. We have a great volunteering services um, here and I know a lot of friends who really get involved um, with that and they can take you sort of uh, out elsewhere out the uni and do loads of garden, community services, things like that. So we really, really are eco-friendly here and um, we, we really try and maintain um, a good carbon footprint as a uni and really take care of the nature around us so it definitely helps that the weather is so nice today um, but we have loads of like benches set out uh, along this wooded area um, and you'll see loads of nice ponds and we also have um, a campus cat that um, sort of roams around the uni which is always a highlight of your day when you run into the the cat um, always a, a, a fun part of the day but yeah here's a lovely sort of area again loads of benches and just logs you're able to sit around and work and just chill with your friends um around the university and as you can see here the founders building in the horizon is just over there and this is the sort of side of the library through the woods there. I'll say as well that inside our founders building we have our wellbeing services located in there um, as well as CDAS which is our SA uh, writing um, help services so uh, every department no matter what you're studying will have a CDAS person to help you with your academic writing skills you know it's not something we expect everyone to be perfect at once they leave <clears throat> college and come to Royal Holloway, we really um, continue aiding those 
um, sort of areas that you might not be um, so confident in um, we're through CDAS. So that's another aspect of the uni that we, uh, I in particular, have really appreciated um, working with CDAS and um, having them help me with my essays and anything like that. We also have as well really um, amazing career services and um, uh, th that you can always contact them. They're based online and the Students' Union put on um, careers fairs as well throughout the year. So if, again, we don't expect anyone to come to uni with um, knowing exactly what they want to do as their career, of course. So we put on careers fairs where you can speak to um, people in their sort of industry that you want to go in and <clears throat> you can get an idea of the jobs available to you and anything like that. Um, we also have housing fairs. So I know accommodation and going into housing is a big sort of question mark for a lot of people, but the uni is so amazing at sort of guiding people to where they need to be. We really care about uh, students' needs and desires here, and we just want everyone to get the best um, possible um, time they can out of uh, being here at Royal Holloway. Um, so we have about five minutes left, so hopefully we can just get some couple more questions in before the end. Yeah, of course. Could you explain a little bit about the cost of living, how much roughly it costs yeah. each week? So in terms of, um, well, I'll talk about the sort of general cost of uni. So um, it's around £9,250 for each year, but obviously you get a loan from the government and a maintenance loan that comes in each term, which sort of... Um, is dependent on your background, your economic background and things like that, of how much you come in. But it'll be around, um, well, it could be sort of around any kind of price in the thousands. But you get a lot of uh, help from the government that you will have to pay that loan back, obviously. But um, again, it is very easy for you to um, be able to enjoy uni with trying to think about um, money as little as possible. But in terms of budgeting, like each week, um, it's just really important to keep in mind the essentials, like, um, shopping, uh, circuit laundry, just little things like that. Um, and maybe, um, yeah, just always keeping track of the different things that you'll need to do um, to um, budget wisely um, and things like that. So, yeah. Uh, are there opportunities for part-time work? Yes, absolutely. So what I'm doing right now, um, I'm a student ambassador for the uni, so um, this is part-time work for me as well. And there's also uh, loads of stuff around the campus um, and around Egham uh, as a place for you to work in. A lot of people work at Thorpe Park, which is like a 10 minute drive away from us. We also have many pubs around the uni that um, you can work in if you've had bar experience before. The Students' Union is also a great place to get a job. Um, whether you're into like tech, you can tech the club nights or the society shows that get put on, or you can help around the bar or Tommy's Kitchen or any of the other places to eat or get coffee on campus. They're all, um, you know, have jobs av available for students as well. Yeah. Where do students typically live in their second and third years? So um, when you come into first year, you are guaranteed an accommodation on campus. And um, it is then sort of your choice. You can be in accommodation on campus for your whole uh, three years, four years, however long you're here. Or a lot of people do, um, which is what I've done, is live in a house just uh, in an area outside of the campus uh, with a group of friends, maybe your flatmates from first year or friends from your course, anything like that. Um, so a lot of people do that. We have Angerfield Green and Egham, which are the two sort of main um, housing areas uh, around campus. But they're, they're good prices as well, especially when you have um, uh, a good number of friends to sort of live with and yeah. This might be the last question, yeah. but what sort of societies and clubs are at the uni? So we have loads of societies. Um, we have performing arts based ones, cultural based ones, political based ones. Um, so we sort of have loads of societies based on different areas. I do a lot of the performing arts ones like musical theatre, drama society, but we have um, societies for all sort of political um, beliefs. And we also have um, societies based on different subjects. So you might want to join um, a, a society that's based around the subject you're studying um, or you could join a society based on your religious belief as well. Um, we have loads of uh, societies based on sort of all areas. Um, yeah. So I think that ends the tour now. I hope you had a good time. We do have a student ambassador Q&A at five if you want to get more questions to students there. But um, thank you so much for coming with me and I hope you have a great rest of your days on our virtual open day. So, Goodbye, everyone.